Hi, I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. In this video, I'm beginning um, a new series on um, national and homeland security affairs. Uh, I'm going to talk about not just the origins and the foundations of um, national and homeland security, but an understanding, a contemporary understanding of the function of uh, national security, homeland security. Is there a difference? The first thing I'll address is, is there a distinction between national and homeland security? Um, and intelligence gathering, quite a bit of time will be spent on intelligence gathering, gathering analysis, um, dissemination, and so on. Um, I'm not a lawyer, um, I'm a professor, but I will be referencing quite a bit of legal code. Um, if I, if I um, misstate the legal codes, please correct me. If they're out of date, please correct me. Um, again, the information is, um, as always, I'm a, a theorist, is going to be presented in a theoretical account of the structure of national security, homeland security, more so than uh, a case analysis or uh, in an, an in-depth analysis of the legal code. I'm not going to do that. I will be referencing cases. I will be referencing um, uh, the, the law, but this is in no sense a case analysis, nor is it uh, a legal analysis. It's a conceptual theoretical analysis of the structure of contemporary national um, Security. Furthermore, in the discussion of national security, it's not going to be national security in the general sense of any nation's security. I'm specifically situating the discussion of national and homeland security um, specifically in a post-9-11 United States of America is, is the context, right? It will be contextualized within a post-9-11 uh, USA. Lastly, the, the point of this analysis is to offer... Um, like in, in a sense, one repository of information. I want this PDF, and for those of you who have watched me uh, before in the past, you know how this works. Um, you can follow along with the lecture by downloading the PDF. Click the link or the link in the description field. That link, and I almost forgot in a second. Uh, that link, that link will take you to uh, the PDF, as the lectures progress, the PDF will get larger and larger. The content will get more and more substantial until I reach the conclusion of this uh, lecture series on Homeland and National Security. And then you will have the uh, PDF in its, in its totality. So, you know, with each new segment of the series that I've updated, just be sure to continuously go back and check the PDF until um, I've said that the series is done and then the PDF will be done. So the, the reason, again, why, why I'm doing this is because this information is all public information. It's all there. Um, most of it can be found, if not all of it, can be found on the Internet. But it's all throughout the Internet. Um, and in between the, the sources of information, it's sort of hard to um, see how these bits and pieces of information pertain and relate to uh, overall structure of national or homeland security. And the point of the lecture is to serve as um, a source, if you will, a repository of that information so that all of the information can be, um, not all of it, but a, a good amount of the information can be um, gained from one location. Primarily, I'll be using this book. It just came out. Uh, this is a Wiley publication. Martin J. Alperin, J.D. Uh, hopefully I pronounced his last name right. A-L-P-E-R-E-N. Martin J. Alperin. There's a link to the book um, in my PDF. Foundations of Homeland Security, Law and Policy. Uh, I'll be using this book not in its entirety because it's a very, very legalistic um, um, account of Foundations of Homeland Security, but it's it's amazing book. Um, again, it just it was just published uh, I think April of of this year, and I want to use this book. I'm going to use this book to guide my overall assessment and analysis of uh, national security and homeland security. With that, that's all the preliminary uh, bits of information. So let's begin. The title of the PDF is Critical and Historical Issues of National and Homeland Security Affairs. Uh, pretty daunting title. Uh, so let's begin. Okay, so this is, uh, I'll just put uh, National right, National Security, Homeland Security. You get the idea. Actually, this ink is already running out. What you'll notice is there is a footnote uh, on the title, and it's something that I want to discuss. Section 1. 
Um, so, again, the title, Critical and Historical Issues in National and Homeland Security. And as a footnote to begin with, the first thing that I want to address in this discussion um, is something that President Barack Obama has stated. And what he's done um, so that there isn't any confusion, and I'll read it to you and I'll offer links to the source, is that he said, listen, there isn't any distinction between national security and homeland security. Homeland security is national security, national security is homeland security, right? So you can freely use, right, within the text as academics, as researchers, as um, first responders, whatever it might be, interchangeably national and homeland security. So in uh, the first footnote, let's read it. President Obama has denied a distinction between homeland security and national security. And here's the quote. My highest priority is to keep the American people safe. I believe that homeland security is indistinguishable from national security, conceptually and functionally. They should be um, thought of together rather than separately. So when we're talking about national security and homeland security, we need to think about them um, conceptually together rather than being separate. Instead of separating these issues, we must create um, and integrate effective and efficient approaches to um, uh, enhance the national security of the United States. The White House must be organized in ways that reflect this reality, and I've provided the reference. So the first thing that we recognize is that um, national and homeland security are the same, right? When we're talking about national, um, or we're talking about homeland security, we're talking about the same thing. National security is homeland security, homeland security is national security, right? So right off the bat, I wanted to make that distinction. Um, now we're going to properly begin the analysis, and I've provided a link to um, Marlon Alpern's book, uh, Foundations of Homeland Security. I've been using this book. I jump around a lot. I don't, I'm not following it in any sense by a chapter by chapter uh, analysis, but a lot of the information, a lot of the, especially the legal code, um, has been referenced from the book. Um, the first thing is the vision of homeland security. Right? So, what's the vision? Vision of homeland security will be HLS. So. Let's investigate the vision of homeland security. And here's the quote, right? Uh, this quote comes from, and I've provided it, the, uh, the Department for Homeland Security, which I'll abbreviate DHS, right? This comes from the um, uh, Department for Homeland Security gov gov page. Quote, the United States, through a concerted national effort that galvanizes the strengths and capabilities of federal, state, local, and tribal governments, and we'll see what, how that is important later, federal, state, local, and tribal governments, the private and non-private sectors, the region and communities, and individual citizens, along with their partners in the international community, will work to achieve a secure, right, to achieve a secure homeland that sustains our life, our way of life, as a free, prosperous, and welcoming America, right? So the key term, for me at least, is uh, the, last, the last bit, work to achieve a secure homeland. The vision is the attempt to, and that's USA, right? And obviously we know that homeland and nation are interchangeable, right? So the vision of the um, homeland security, the vision is the attempt to secure our Homeland, right? This is going to be this discourse that I'll be giving over a series of many, many videos. Typically, the series runs anywhere on the low end of six hours to on the long end of 13 or 14 hours. Um, this is going to be somewhere, the series is going to be somewhere in between that six to 13 hour range. Um, in, the, in the progression of this analysis into Homeland Security, we'll talk and recognize more the emphasis on um, Homeland Security. What does it mean? to be secure, how do we go about various um, methods of securing the homeland and so on and so on and so on, right? So um, I really want to emph emphasize the security aspect of the vision of uh, homeland security. And again, I've provided a link to the, the, the .gov page. Um, the approach, right, the strategic approach, approach to 